Hey friends, I want you to get ready for some extreme whole house deep cleaning. I cleaned all day today. My house was a complete disaster. Every room was so messy and I decided to spend the entire day cleaning. I wanted to get down, get dirty, get my house sparkling clean and wait till you see some of these gross messes I had on my hands. I will guarantee that you will be ready to clean after you watch this video. So sit back, get ready and let's get things done. It was a Monday and as you can see from all of these messes, we had a very fun weekend. It was just one of those weekends. We had a lot of fun. We hung out as a family, which left the house as a complete disaster. And you are seeing a mess in my kitchen and my living room. The basement was a huge disaster and wait till you see how dirty, and yes, dirty, I don't mean messy, dirty the bathroom was down there. I also wanted to scrub my oven, clean out my refrigerator, scrub my sink, scrub the grout in the laundry room and dust on top of cabinets. So I had a lot of messes, a lot of deep cleaning that has been neglected, but I was determined to get it all done today. And this video is one of my longest and most satisfying cleaning videos ever. Watch me get into the cracks of my sink and get plenty of gunk out. Watch me make plenty of vacuum lines throughout the whole house. So stay tuned. If you guys are new here, I post weekly cleaning videos and I just started an organizing and decluttering series, which I will have linked down below, but I'm picking little areas out in my house to go and focus on and completely transform and organize. So I've been doing that since about January. So if you need some organization and decluttering motivation, I will have that playlist linked down below. But I am Jamie, if you're new here, I'm a mom to three girls and my goal for my channel is to help motivate and inspire you to get things done. We will get it done together. I want you guys to kind of look at me as a friend. I wanna to try to make things more simple and easy and every single week provide content that will just motivate, uplift and inspire you. I would love to have you subscribe. So hit that red subscribe button and make for sure you turn on the notification bell. Go to the notification. There's like a little bell and you set it to all. Make sure you hit that so you get notified of every video I have.
after I got the upstairs just picked up, which I like to do first because it motivates me to get moving and keep going. I just like to get our main level area picked up. I went downstairs to get all of that cleaned up. And I think cleaning the basement might be one of my most satisfying rooms to clean in my home just because there's so many toys, which yes, I know my girls are very blessed. We have so many toys down here, but it's just nice to see all of the toys get cleaned up and then I get to vacuum and this carpet just does a really good job of showing vacuum lines. Like not all carpet shows vacuum lines equally, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So I just love vacuum lines. I love vacuuming down here in the basement, but I also wanted to clean the bathroom down here. This bathroom does not get cleaned very often or really used, so that's why we don't clean it. And wait till you see how gross the toilet look like. And I know you're probably like, gross, Jamie, we don't wanna see your dirty toilet. It's not dirty in the way you're thinking. It's just dirty from the water sitting in the toilet bowl and not being used or flushed. I find that it gets like that a lot in the, the warmer months. And as it's starting to get warmer here, um, it just, it gets pretty dirty and I've had a lot of suggestions of people saying you know to use this or that but nothing I've ever tried works I cannot get this ring to go away other than frequently flushing and I would love to be more proactive about it but I just have so many other things going on in my life that remembering to flush the downstairs toilet is not on my you know not on the top of my list so I like to go in here and just get a satisfying clean when the toilet has that ring around it Slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweet. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dark. Watch me pray. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I use a variety of cleaning products. I do have my favorites and I tend to get in a rut with cleaning products like where I'll just use the same ones over and over and over and I'm sure you're like that as well. Well, if any of you have any cleaning products that you're curious about or you want to try, you wanna know how they perform, let me know in the comment section and then maybe some of you guys can browse it and like if you see another cleaning product that you also would like to see tried out and I can start trying them out for you. I can go buy them, test them out, and let you know what I think about them. So if you have any cleaning products that you want me to try out, let me know down below. And also something else I wanna know from you, when do you like watching cleaning videos? When do you want me to post? Do you like your cleaning motivation on Sundays? Or I know some of you have said you like your cleaning videos posted on Monday. So I'm just trying to get a feel of what you guys like better. Cleaning videos, cleaning motivation on Sunday or Monday, let me know down below.
We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars and then next, I wanted to clean the laundry room, which didn't really make sense because I wanted to focus more on the kitchen after the basement, but the twins were going to be going down for their naps, and I wanted to make for sure I got into the laundry room because it's right next to their bedroom, and I didn't want to take the chance of waking them up when I was in there. And they're pretty good about sleeping through noises, like you'll find me vacuuming right by their door when they're napping um, or sleeping but i figured i'd rather be safe than sorry so i went in here to wipe everything down and i was using the windex multi-surface disinfectant and i'll tell you that i'm not a big fan of this product it performs pretty well on the washer and dryer but i didn't like it for a lot of the other surfaces in my household but i wanted to use it up i've had it for a really long time and i didn't didn't want it, want it to go to waste or anything. So I just keep it in my laundry room and then use it to wipe things down in there. But I also wanted to mop, clean baseboards, scrub the grout. And I'm sure I'll get asked about what my husband was doing or you know, like what, what were the kids doing um, while you were cleaning? My If they weren't napping, my husband was hanging with them. And then you'll see Avery popping in and helping me or playing with sand or doing art projects while I was cleaning as well. But to clean the grout, I was using the Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner to clean my grout, which is my favorite and easiest way to clean the grout because it pretty much does the cleaning for me and then I don't have to scrub very hard. So it's just a product that I find really easy to use. So then I planned on going back downstairs to do more deep cleaning in my kitchen. I wanted to scrub the oven, clean out the refrigerator, clean the hall closet, scrub the sink, and just all of that deep stuff. And I also wanted to change out our sheets and wash our bedding really quickly before I went down and did that. Give me a time, 
Then it was time to clean the dreaded oven. Does anyone else hate cleaning the oven like I do? I just hate it. So I started out by using the Jaws Kitchen Degreaser, and I've been loving the Jaws cleaning products lately. You'll see me using them throughout my videos. Um, and I've had a lot of you get send me messages. You've tried it out and you say you love them too, which makes me feel so good. So if you ever try out a product and you love it, if you saw me use it and that's why you tried it, let me know because when I get messages from you guys telling me you enjoy you like the products that I recommended. It just makes me feel even better that I'm recommending good products to you. And if you do want to try them out, I do have a 25% off coupon code. You can use it. If you go to the description, there's a link and then my code, you can use it to get 25% off. Um, they have amazing products. There's a disinfectant, which I've been using a lot lately. I love their granite cleaner, but just so many good products from Jaws. And then after I was done using the Jaws Kitchen Degreaser, I went in with the Barkeeper's Friend Powder Cleanser and then just sprayed some water and I use that to really deep clean the oven. While I was waiting for the barkeeper's friend to really sit on the oven and work its magic, I wanted to go over and wipe out my refrigerator and I used a mix of vinegar and water mixture and then I wanted to scrub the sink and clean out my microwave. My microwave was really, really dirty. Okay, nice and clean refrigerator, but <laughs> you guys are like, you have no food in here, and we don't. <laughs> We've been really focusing on eating up what we have as we stay at home, and uh, yeah, we have to go to the grocery store. We'll be picking stuff up later today, but yeah. I mean, it just looks super bare, but I guess that's good, because we're eating up all of our reserves before we buy more. So I'm gonna take a break from cleaning here as the girls eat their lunch and they wanted to say hi to you. Hi. Addison. Hello. Oh, noodle? Noodle? Nice little lunch breaks for everyone, right? That's what I made. Addison, Emery. So this is for the girls that I made. It's kinetic sand because they had their birthday and I wanted to make it for them. Good job. Bring me down whatever. Call me off whenever. I got time whenever. To scrub out my sink, which by the way, I think it's super satisfying 
to watch someone clean their sink. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels that way, but I was just using baking soda and dish soap. And usually you'll see me use my Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser, but I'm out of that right now. So I also like using this combo when I'm out of the cream cleanser, but I wanted to go in with my Rubbermaid power scrubber as well, which lets me get into those areas between the counter and the sink. Cause there's always like food and I don't know, a bunch of gunk stuck in there. It's just a harder reach place that if I go in with the power scrubber, it gets all of that out, which you'll see. I'll try to get really close up so you can see. And it's the power scrubber is similar to a, or the idea is that it's similar to a electric toothbrush but it's way more powerful and the way it's designed it gets into deep cracks better than an electric toothbrush i love this little tool And then I desperately needed to clean my dirty microwave. So to clean that, I just took one cup of vinegar and then one cup of water and I put it in there and I microwaved it for about seven minutes. And then you, it just kind of heats up and the water and vinegar mixture just makes it super easy to take a sponge and just wipe everything off. So you're not scrubbing and doing all of that in the microwave. So just put it in the microwave, just make sure you're watching it. Like don't put it in there and then walk away. I don't know, it just makes me nervous to put water and vinegar in a glass container and put it in there. It's fine, it's safe to do, but just make sure you're watching it. I just kind of hung out in the kitchen while it went. Make sure you come over and follow me on Instagram. It's linked down below, jamielins.journey, and you can see more of my life, more of my kids, and come over and say hi. And then to wipe down my countertops, I'm using my DIY cleaner. It's one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and then a teaspoon of dish soap. And I'll be honest with you guys, the measurements aren't too particular. Like I've, most of the time, I'll just kind of like, 
eyeball it and it's totally fine. So um, it's just an amazing, amazing cleaner. This is another one that I get so many messages. You guys say you try it out and you love it. The alcohol helps disinfect. I can use it on my granite countertops. I can literally use it on so many surfaces in my house. It's my, probably my top cleaner. It's just amazing. It's just getting really hard to find alcohol right now. So I have to kind of ration it, but this is an amazing, amazing cleaner. I don't know if you guys get stitch fix but I just started getting it um, not too long ago and this was one of the pieces that I kept from my latest box and I think it's so pretty I love maxi dresses um, and I just I don't know I feel like it's a dress that I could wear to a wedding it's a dress I could wear if Mike and I went on a date night um, so I'm loving it <laughs> The only thing is, like, where am I going this summer? You know, like, I'm not going to be doing anything. Not going to be going anywhere, likely. Um, I guess we'll see. But I still kept it. Um, I've, I've been enjoying getting Stitch Fix boxes. I am not someone who likes to shop. And I'm not very adventurous. And I tend to just, like, I'll find a shirt I like. And then I'll get it in, like, every color. And I stick with basics. Like, just basic tank tops and tees and jeans and stuff like that. So... This kind of makes me step out of my comfort zone and my box a little bit better since I shop at the same stores over and over. And then sometimes I find some gems like this that I probably wouldn't have found in a store. If you need a really good basic bathroom cleaner that you can just pick up at the store, like at Walmart or Target, I really like this Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Cleaner. I think it does a really good job. And lately I've been using my Jaws cleaners for the bathroom, but this is another good one if you just want a good cleaner that you can pick up at the store. If you are new to my channel, you may not know that I did start a new series called Slay the Day, where I bring you along for my day as I attempt to get through everything that I need to do. So like cleaning, organization, meal prep, 
groceries, all of that. So I kind of show you more of my personal life. It's more me talking to you, talking to the camera, you guys hanging out with my girls. It's a cross between a day in the life and a cleaning video. So the goal in these videos is that I'm providing you motivation to get through everything that you need to get done. But I also show you what we're doing, kind of how our day is going. And it just something that, you know, I can be a little bit more personal with you. I have a lot more coming up, so watch out for the Slay the Day videos. Um, they're a lot of fun for me, and I hope you enjoy them too. Again, if you want to try out the Jaws cleaning products, there is a code for 25% off that's down below. You can just use my link and use the code and then you get a really good discount just to try them out. But I promise you, you will love these products. They're amazing. And I love the disinfectant one, especially for everything that's going on right now. It's just nice and they've been having it in stock, which is a bonus. I want to know who's still hanging out here. So if you are still here, drop me your favorite emoji down below and I will know that you made it almost to the end.
And then you know my day of cleaning isn't completed until I vacuumed and mopped on the main living area at the end of the night. And of course, I also had a load of laundry to fold. And I told you this was going to be a day full of satisfying cleaning. And I also want you to know that not every day is like this. Definitely not. Like this, I've not had a day like this in weeks. So I just always want to put out a little disclaimer. I am not this productive. I do not get this much done, but it's nice to have these days every once in a while just to get it all done. I've had some of you recently ask me if I'm still using my O Cedar Spin Mop, which I do, and I really, really love that mop. Like, I'm not getting rid of it. I love it, but I've been mainly reaching for my steam mop because if there happens to be any food stuck on the floor from the twins when they're eating, like under their high chairs, the steam mop gets it all up way better because of the hot steam that it puts out. And I do have a mat that I put under their high chairs, which helps tremendously and keeps cuts down on the amount of food that gets on the floor or stuck to the floor but it just doesn't cover everything with two twins two high chairs it just it doesn't cover probably the amount of space that I would need so um, the steam app is just great for any food that gets stuck on the floor it gets it all up so I've just been reaching for it lately but I still love and use my O Cedar spin mop and I would say this steam mop is one of my favorite purchases like I bought it maybe back in March February or March and I'm just so happy I love the steam up and then finally I got to sit down and fold the load of laundry and it was just nice to kind of relax and finish up everything but i hope you found this video enjoying i hope you found it motivating and satisfying thank you for watching thank you for sticking around until the very end you are all amazing please think about subscribing hit the notification bell and i will see you guys next time bye